Hey everyone, my name is Alshon94 and welcome back to some more Robot Wars Arenas of Destruction. Now, last time out that we played this, we actually did a pretty good job, I think. We were winning trophy after trophy after trophy. We've now got just shy of 20,000 credits and it is now time to figure out where we want to go next. So before we get into this video, if you like what you see and you like Rabbit Wars, then hit that like button down below. And don't forget that you can, of course, subscribe for more content like this. This happens every Saturday with Robot Wars. Now, where do we want to go? I think we should at least give a go at um, the Nerves of Steel. It's another knockout. So we've got a fairly decent chance, I think, because we were pretty good at the knockouts. Um... Okay, did we do the heavyweight cup? We can only have swinging weapons, which I think we have anyway. And your weight, minimum 62 kilos. Maybe that was one. No, do you know what? Let's try it. Let's just go into the Nerves of Steel knockout. 3,000 to enter, 20,000 return if we win. And I'm going to just leave our bot as it is. So I've reverted back to the changes that we made after that after that last episode. So we've got back our our flipper and our um, axe or our pickaxe. So we're going to try and see where we go today. We have got Timza, the Agitator, and Hypno Disc. Hypno Disc is a real real problem for us, I think, because that that thing can do some immense damage. And uh, it's going to be quite difficult for us to try and overcome that unless we can flip Hypno Disc over. Now, I don't know if he's got a self writing mechanism. I don't know if they will be able to get back up again. So, without further ado, let's get into this matchup. There hopefully is at least one bot there that we can flip over easily, I think. Whoa. Let's try and get Tim's flipped over. Oh my, we've lost. We've lost the axe. So we've lost the axe there. Oh my. Tim's is close. Tim's is close. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. So we've just lost the power source. Okay. Right. That's not the best start in the world. Eliminated because our power source got disabled, apparently. Which I'm not happy about. Um, we didn't even get started in that. Didn't even have a chance of getting started on that. I'm going to continue the game because I... You know, this isn't like a, a series where we just continue on our way. We can always restart the game and go back to that full amount of money. So that's a big problem there. We've lost 3,000 there straight away. Um, okay. So we might need to have a rethink then on what we do next. Did we do Chainsaw Massacre? I'm sure we did, right? We must have done... I was just going to check the trivia cabinet. Did we do Chainsaw Massacre? We didn't do... We didn't do Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, so... We're going to have to give that a go then. Um, I know that we've lost three grand, but maybe we can recoup something... Um, let's go then to Sao Paulo. Chainsaw Massacre. Now, why did we not do that? Oh, because it, it wanted continuous. And a max value of five grand. Uh, okay. So, we'll be able to enter this then, no problem. We're going to have to do rethink then our bot at the moment. Yep, that's fine. So, we are just going to go then. It was continuous that it wanted. So, we're going to need to shop around for a continuous weapon. Now, the problem that we have with this bot 
is it's a wedge, which means that stuff on the front isn't going to be overly effective unless we can pick up a flywheel. Um, but we also need to bear in mind as well that what we decide to go for weaponry-wise, um, we're going to need to be a little bit careful because the value is, as I said, up to 5,000. Um, so... What do we do here then? Do we go for like a bog standard lawnmower blade and that might be enough? It works a treat on less well armored robots. Okay. Let's do this the other way around. Why don't we change out? Let's remove the weaponry completely because um, we can't have either of these. So we're just going to remove the components. And we're also going to have to change out the armor as well. So we're going to have to drop down to the polycarbonate. See, even then, that's... That's... Um, so we're going to have to drop something else. Then we're going to probably need to drop down... To... Um, let's drop down to a two-wheel drive robot. That should be okay. But we've got four wheels still, but just with... Um, the two rear motors at the back. So we have a little bit more now to play with when we go to the shop. Continuous, right. Hopefully we've got something in the arsenal that we can... It's a hardened disc. At the moment, the favourite is the lawnmower blade, which, I'll be honest, it might be better to have a lawnmower blade at the front and a hardened steel circular saw at the back because then we've got two weapons there that's the only thing that i can really think of doing because even these would take us well 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 over the 5000 cap okay let's just let's just go for a lawnmower blade and we'll see where we go i mean i, I really don't like it but it, you know you gotta do what oh, we can have we can have dual motors that's interesting Okay, do you know what? No, let, let, let's just go with what we have. Let's let's try and see if we can get a, this bot running and winning with that very, you know, that that really low expense. That would be awesome if we could do that. Hey! Right, hang on. I thought it was continuous that it wanted. Am I... Did I misread that? I bet I did, didn't I? I bet I misread that. Where's Sal Paula? Where are you? Here. What do you want? Continuous. I bought continuous. I am pretty confident I bought a continuous weapon. Hi again, Weapons. Continuous. It is in continuous. Why have you blocked me then? Okay. So maybe then I've got to go for a circular saw. So we're going to now need to remove this component, which we bought. Okay. I wonder how how much would come off if we just had like a really really basic armor like aluminium. That would take us right down to about two and a half. But then with two and a half is there a weapon that we can have and continuous that is about two and a half? I don't think there is that's any good at least flamethrower we could do if it allows us to have that but the rest there's no so we're gonna have to go with either a chainsaw well it is called chainsaw massacre isn't it so what's more effective a chainsaw as cheap and relatively durable makes an excellent choice for a on a budget 
it will cut through a lot of armor types. Maybe we just go for a chainsaw then. Maybe that's the tack. Surely you're not going to ban a robot that's got a chainsaw on the back. Save, exit and save the changes. Let's hope that we actually qualify now for this. Thank you. Okay. So, I think if I was to have a bot that was a bit more boxy, we'd probably be able to do a bit more. We're up against Morticon and Body Splash in this particular event. And this would be one step closer to us uh, completely completing the, the Sao Paulo location. The London United Kingdom location, you need 25,000 to even attempt the Robot Wars Championship. But you get 100,000 if you win. So it's a bit of a high risk, but you get a high reward. So everyone is wielding a chainsaw. Maybe then that's the only weapon that they'll actually allow. But we are at somewhat of a disadvantage because we have a wedge, which means you can't put the chainsaw on the front. Now, ah, uh, there we go. So we're going to have to drop... Oh, well, that... <laughs> there goes the chainsaw. Come on, kid, a lot. You want to. I know you want to. Right, so we have got no choice then but to go on the offensive and try and get a robot down into that pit. Oh, not us if we can help it. Are they flipped over? They might be, actually. That is hilarious if that's... Go on, kill a lot. Go on, kill a lot. You can take him. Go on. I'm going to... I think I'm going to have to buy some bigger wheels, I think, because... Whenever I get damage to my bot, I can't control it. Like, on the armor, like I literally cannot do anything to control it. Go on, kill a lot. Take it. There you go. Right, so that should have done a bit oh, of damage, I hope. Cease. Yeah, we won that without even wielding a weapon. That's amazing. Also, I've worked out as well that we could have gone a little bit more or a little bit um, more advanced on the armor front if everyone's wielding a chainsaw, um, which would have helped us in, the lot in, in, in that short term. But actually then, if we can prove that we can have a bot winning with lesser armor, that's... Why did I do that to myself? So rather than pressing X to repair, I press square, which means that we move on with the armor set that we have. And that's going to mean that the weaponry that we have is going to disappear like that. Okay. I didn't think this through, but never mind. Maybe this will be a quick win for us. I can but hope. So here we go. Yep, there goes the weaponry straight away. But his weaponry's gone as well. So now all that we can do is try and see if we can edge this bot closer to the pit. That'll do. That will do. Because now we can watch as the... Uh, Pet, do you want to do your thing? Because that bot's over. Not a lot happening here. The crowd want more action. I mean, that, that might want more action, but we have got the victory here. There's no way that that bot can self-right. Can't do anything. At least now we have a second chance to actually um, repair this bot properly. There is the qualification. That is excellent news for us. And... Uh, so far, we're off to a really good start with this. Morticon lasted 40 seconds before succumbing to the fatal drop, flipping over, and that was game over for that particular bot. Right, now we can actually start to repair this bot properly. Repair the weapon and repair as much armor as you can. So not actually too shabby, if I do say so myself. What is up next? Porcupine. There are two more rounds after this one. Hopefully we can win this and we'll get a nice little trophy and some more credits as well. I do wish that if they 
only wanted a chainsaw. Make it clearer that you want just a chainsaw. Oh, straight over. There it is. There it is. I mean, we can... I mean, we can always do a little bit extra damage and things. But there's actually no need to get involved. That is fantastic news. And it is one step closer to winning this trophy all out. I've also found out as well what you need to do in collateral damage. And that's basically destroying as much as you can, as quickly as you can. So the way that you win that particular tournament is by destroying things like... Uh, th this object here, the bricks, um, this fridge here, basically destroying whatever you can in the in the, in 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 your lot of time. And I think it's the most amount of things destroyed wins. Um, so we could try that in the next episode, I would imagine, um, because we need to clean up on those class of damage trophies, and maybe that would give give us the confidence to go either for the Robot Wars Championship. Or some of those other ones that we couldn't get access in the first place. So let's repair the what? Oh, no. Let's repair that 1% there and the 17% on the armor. We now have a fully kitted out and repaired bot for the next round. Heavy Metal is our next opponent. And the fact that we have a wedge actually means that we can get right underneath, flip them over, without even having to use the weaponry at all, which is absolutely incredible. Um, didn't see that coming at all. This could be another contender for a bot that's going to go over quite quickly, I would like to think. It might not happen like that, but we can but hope. Here we go, it's go time. Now, unfortunately, it does appear that the way that they have their chainsaw set up is going to make it difficult for us to get underneath. But we can at least try and direct this bot to either go into the pit or to go into a corner patrol zone. I would prefer it if it went down into the pit, being honest. I can also only hope that the chainsaw does enough damage to the chassis that it immobilizes it. Oh, okay, so that for a second there, the drive just cut out, which is a little bit weird for us. Come on. I want to try to see if I can at least get the weaponry off this bot because that might make it a little bit easier to flip it over. Yeah, so we've got no chance of flipping over this particular bot on its attacking it on its current side. Come on. This might be a little bit more of a boring matchup, but if it means we get the job done, we're doing a lot of damage to that chassis that's been exposed. Oh yes. Oh yes. Go on. Oh, not me, 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 not me. Right, we have no weaponry now. Go on, kill a lot. Do you think? You're supposed to be the biggest, baddest bot on the planet. And you're not even attacking that bot properly, man. Make more of an effort. And now we're exposing ourselves to, well, our chassis is being absolutely obliterated now, which isn't what I wanted at all. Oh, uh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, let's just push you in there. If I can get this, but if, if I can get the pit to take this bot. I, all that I can do is hope that when it takes it, go, yes, there you, no, I got out. I do not believe that. I'm not convinced that we've actually won this. I'm not convinced. 
not convinced. Oh, we did qualify. Hallelujah. Okay. That was a bit more of a closer fought battle. I wonder how we won. Maybe we just maxed out on everything. Oh, I don't even know how we won that, to be honest. But we'll take the win. We've got a lot to repair. Maybe a lot of work done to the chassis as well that we need to do. Okay, yeah. 43% on the chassis is not brilliant. Uh, we want to repair the weaponry first. And we'll do whatever we can to the armor next. Not the best on the armor, but we'll take it. Let's now move on to the next round. And who are we facing? We are going up against Fang. The last round. One-on-one. -on -one. I don't know what Fang is. Hopefully, it's a bot we can flip quickly. Oh, mm, not sure we can flip that over straight away. So, at least we've got a chainsaw that works now and, you know, properly attached to the robot and things. But I'm not convinced we're going to be able to flip this bot over. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. We will take that. We have successfully won this tournament without actually having a weapon on the front of our bot with having poor driving for the back, but by just flipping over our these bots by purely using the wedge shape that we have. And that is going to be a lovely payout for... I can't remember what the payout actually was. I'm hoping, though, it's enough to recoup the 3,000 that we lost at the beginning of this episode. Um, but we're going to take this win. Uh, I, I, I'll just flick over to when we actually get that, 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 that winning trophy title. Cease. There it is. Confirmation that we have won the Chainsaw Massacre Tournament. And as a somewhat of a challenge, it's been actually pretty good. And it's just confirmed that the wedge shape is OP if you get put against the right amount or the right bot. 13,000. So we've recouped the cost of us losing that first tournament. We've probably gained, what, about five grand-ish? The Chainsaw Massacre trophy can be used for self-defense in the event of a burglary. Apparently it can't because it's not actually there. But nonetheless, so what What have we ended up on in terms of our credits? We've got 27,000. That is a lovely, lovely figure. And actually means we could attempt, we could attempt the world championship. Um, let me know down in the comments if you, if you actually want to see that happen. But until then, I'm going to end this episode at this point. So thanks to those of you who have watched this. If you like what you saw, then hit the like button down below. And don't forget that you can, of course, subscribe for content like this. And I'll see you next time.